a Wikivide Documentaries production. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Enjoy. The Cranberries The Cranberries are an Irish rock band formed in Limerick in 1989 by lead singer Neil Quinn, guitarist Noel Hogan, bassist Mike Hogan, and drummer Fergal Lawler. Quinn was replaced as lead singer by Dolores Uriadon in 1990. Although widely associated with alternative rock, the band's sound also incorporates indie pop, post-punk, Irish folk, and pop rock elements. The Cranberries rose to international fame in the 1990s, with their debut album, Everybody Else Is Doing It, So Why Can't We?, which became a commercial success. The Cranberries have sold over 40 million records worldwide. The band achieved four top 20 albums on the Billboard 200 chart, and eight top 20 singles on the Modern Rock Tracks chart. In early 2009, after a six-year hiatus, the Cranberries reunited and began a North American tour followed by shows in Latin America and Europe. The band recorded their sixth album Roses in May 2011, and released it in February 2012. Something Else, an album covering earlier songs together with the Irish Chamber Orchestra, was released in April 2017. On 15 January 2018, lead singer Dolores O'Riordan was found dead in a London hotel room. She had recently arrived in London for a recording session. Formation and Early Years, 1989-1992 In 1989, brothers Mike and Noel Hogan formed the Cranberry Source with drummer Fergal Lawler and singer Neil Quinn, in Limerick, Ireland. Less than a year later, Quinn left the band. The remaining band members then placed an advertisement for a female singer. Dolores O'Riordan responded to the advertisement and auditioned by writing lyrics and melodies to some existing demos. When she returned with a rough version of, Linger, she was hired, and they recorded Nothing Left At All, a three-track EP released on tape by local record label Zeruk Records, which sold 300 copies. The group changed their name to, The Cranberries. The owner of Zeruk Studios, Pierce Gilmore, became their manager and provided the group, with studio time to complete another demo tape, which he produced. It featured early versions of, Linger, and, Dreams, which were sent to record companies throughout the UK. This demo earned the attention of both the UK press and record industry, and sparked a bidding war between major British record labels. Eventually, the group signed with Island Records. The Cranberries headed back into studio with Gilmore as their producer to record their first EP Uncertain and created a music video for the title track, which was not released. The EP received poor reviews in the press and led to tension between the group and Gilmore. After a difficult recording session intended for their first Island Records album in January 1992, the band scrapped their work and fired Gilmore. After hiring Jeff Travis as their new manager, the Cranberries headed back into the studio in Dublin in March 1992, to restart working on their first LP with Stephen Street, who had previously worked with the Smiths. During that time period, the Cranberries toured in Ireland and the UK, getting the attention of the British press. The band also recorded several studio and live sessions intended for Irish and British radio and television shows, including 2FMS The Dave Fanning Show and BBC Radio 1's John Peel Show. Mainstream Success 1993-1995 The band's debut single Dreams, was released in September 1992, followed by their first full-length album Everybody Else Is Doing It, So Why Can't We?, in March 1993. Neither the album nor the single gained much attention, nor did a second single, Linger. When the band embarked on a tour supporting Suede, they caught the attention of MTV, which put their videos into heavy rotation. Although, Linger, was first released in the UK in February 1993, Peaking at 74, it was later reissued in February 1994 peaking at 14. This was followed by, Dreams, which helped their debut album to top the UK album chart in June. The group reunited with Street for No Need to Argue, which was released in late 1994. It would go on to peak at number 6 on the US charts and eventually outsold its predecessor. Within a year it went triple platinum, spawning the number 1 hit, Zombie and the number 11, Ode to My Family, on the Modern Rock Tracks chart. 
1995, the band continued to tour, and released two more singles, I Can't Be With You, and Ridiculous Thoughts. The album went five times platinum in Canada, platinum in Switzerland, and seven times platinum in the United States. Middle Era, 1996-2000 The band's third album to The Faithful Departed peaked at number two in the UK and number four on the Billboard 200. Despite favorable reviews, the album did not match the sales of No Need to Argue. The album went double platinum in the US and gold in the UK. The first single from the album was Salvation, which topped the Modern Rock Tracks chart. The second single from the album was Free to Decide. The single's peak in the UK was 33 and placing on the Billboard Hot 100. In late 1996, the group cancelled their Australian and European tour, sparking rumors that O'Riordan was about to launch a solo career. In November 1996, When You're Gone, was released as a single in the United States, peaking at 22 on the Hot 100. In 1999, the group released Bury the Hatchet. The first single, Promises, was released in February. Promises, would be the only single from the album to chart in the US and last single before their hiatus. The album peaked at 7 in the UK and 13 in the US and was certified gold in the US. The second single from the album was, Animal Instinct which didn't chart in the UK, although it did chart in France, Austria and many others. The third and fourth singles were, Just My Imagination, and, You and Me, respectively. The band had a guest appearance on popular television series Charmed, performing, Just My Imagination. On the fifth episode of the second season, She's a Man, Baby, a Man. The group started a world tour in April 1999 and it finished in July 2000. The group partnered with Ticketmaster.com to be the first artists to sell tickets for a national tour exclusively online. It was the biggest and most successful tour of the Cranberries career. The tour brought them back to Ireland for their first date since May 2000. They performed at Mill Street in County Cork. As the tour rolled on, the band released Bury the Hatchet The Complete Sessions a double CD featuring B-sides as well as live tracks taken from a show in Paris. Later years, 2001-2003 In October 2001, the album Wake Up and Smell the Coffee was released. The band's old producer Stephen Street had returned and produced their new music video. The album peaked at 46 on the Billboard 200 and reached number 61 in the UK. The first single released from the album was Analyze, which charted in the US adult top 40 at a peak of 26. In January 2002, they released the second single, Time is Ticking Out, and some months later another one, This is the Day. The following year a greatest hits album was released entitled Stars the Best of 1992-2002 which was released alongside eponymous DVD of music videos. The album peaked in the UK at 20. The song, Stars, was released as a single from that album. They started a European tour in mid-October 2002, which ended in December of the same year. At the end of February 2003, the Cranberries started working with Stephen Street and debuted their work for the first time in Belfast, Northern Ireland, on 29 May 2003 performing the songs, Astral Projection, and, In It Together, that September. The band announced they were taking some time to pursue individual careers and scrapped sessions for a sixth studio release. Hiatus and solo careers, 2004-2008 Dolores O'Riordan started collaborating with other musicians in 2004 before launching her solo career with the album Are You Listening? in 2007, following it with No Baggage in 2009. Dolores O'Riordan performed, Linger, in the 2006 movie Click, Noel Hogan started a new project called Monoband, whose first full-length self-titled album saw a limited release in 2005. He went on to form architect with singer-songwriter Richard Walters. He has also been working as a producer with supermodel twins, from his native Limerick and Rema. Fergal Lawler was a member of The Low Network, whose first album was released in 2007. He has also worked with Walter Mitty and The Realists as well as Last Days of Death Country as both producer and musician. Reunion and Roses, 2008-2009
2009-2015. The Cranberries reunited in January 2009 to celebrate Iridan becoming an honorary patron of University Philosophical Society. The group indicated at the time that this did not signify an official reunion, but on 25 August 2009, in anticipation of the release of No Baggage, Ariadne announced that the Cranberries would be reuniting for a North American and European tour. Ariadne indicated that the band would be playing songs from her solo albums, and a lot of the Cranberries' classic hits as well as some new group compositions. The Cranberries recorded Roses, at the Metalworks Studios in Mississauga, Canada, from 18 April to 15 May 2011 with Stephen Street, who previously collaborated with the band on their first, second and fifth albums. The Cranberries worked on 15 tracks during the Roses session. Although not all were included on the album, the album was released on 27 February 2012. Ariadne started legal proceedings against Noel Hogan in October 2013. The case was struck out in July 2015 and the cause was not divulged. Ariadne began recording new material with DARK in April 2014. Something Else Cancellation of 2017 Tour and O'Riordan's Death, 2016 Present A new acoustic Cranberries album titled Something Else was released on 28 April 2017, through BMG. Something Else featured orchestral arrangements of prior releases, and three new songs. With the release of the new album, the group announced a tour which was to include dates in Europe, parts of the UK, and North America. The shows were scheduled in smaller venues, with live orchestral accompaniment. However, in May 2017, shortly into the European tour, the Cranberries had to cancel the remainder of the European dates due to Ariadne's health, with the band's website citing medical reasons associated with a back problem. The North American tour dates were cancelled in July when her recovery had not progressed enough for her to participate. On 15 January 2018, Ariadne died unexpectedly in London, England. No details of the cause of her death have been released. Style Their music has been likened to singers such as Sinead O'Connor and Susie and the Banshees. Ariadne stated her singing style incorporating yodeling was inspired by her father who used to sing, The Lonesome Cattle Call. I just kept with my father all the time, just copying him and eventually I learned how to do it. Then over the years there were artists like Sinead O'Connor, and Susie from Susie and the Banshees and even Peter Harvey was doing it. It was something that you could work into the Cranberries format, because a lot of that was used in religious Irish music. Brought to you by Wikividi Documentaries Would you like to know more?